Okay, so this video today is going to be an overview of my Xbox 360 collection. I was going to do a pickups video along with this video here. Um, however, I plan on doing two videos next week, so it kind of clash with my schedule that I have going, where it's one video um, one week and two videos the following week. Um, so the pickups I got today will be in this uh, in this listing here, uh, well, this overview here. Um, and so here we go. Uh, first game we have here is uh, Aliens Colonial Marines. Um, people have said it's left for dead, uh, both aliens. Um, I haven't played too much of it. Uh, it looked fun. It's by Sega. Um, so I will uh, have more of an opinion on it uh, when I play it. I hear I do the review video on it um, at some point in the next couple months. Uh, next game I have here is Batman Arkham Origins. I just picked this up today uh, for a dollar. Uh, so really happy I got that for a buck. Uh, not bad. Um, I've heard really good things about the Batman games. Um, I've heard that uh, it doesn't really add too much to the uh, to the series of, of the games. But uh, for a dollar, um, for how good I've heard it is, I couldn't pass it up. So really happy I got that. Next game here uh, that I recently picked up today uh, is Darksiders. Um, I thought this was in the same vein as uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. However, um, I got it for a good dollar, uh, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, but I realized after watching uh, some clips on it that it's actually a game I've already played um, on my cell phone through, I think it was the OnLive service. Um, so it's kind of a, uh, a Zelda-esque game, uh, but Heaven and Hell themed. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's, it's not a bad game. But again, for a dollar, you can pass it up. So the next game I have here is Disney Infinity. Um, not much to say about these games. Uh, they made three of them. Uh, they made the first one, 2.0, and then 3.0. Um, we only have 2.0. Uh, we have three characters with it. Uh, we've got uh, Iron Man, Thor, uh, Black Cat, or Shadow Cat, um, which came with the starter bundle. Um, and then I've also picked up Venom uh, in the last month or two. Um, really good game um, for what it is. It's kind of like Legos, but with Marvel figures. Uh, they actually buy kind of like the Amiibos. Um, it's, uh, it's fun for maybe a few minutes, not, not for like a few hours or anything like that. It's not, it's not really that great of a game, but, uh, it's fun nonetheless. Next game I have here is Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, I have all of the games in the Deus Ex series up until the latest one that was released on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Um, this game is a beautiful game. Uh, if you have not played this one yet, or if you've not played any of the Deus Ex games, I encourage you to go play them. They're great games. They can all be picked up on PC or console. They're amazing. Um, they are first-person shooters with um, RPG elements. Um, kind of uh, choose your own adventure-esque, where um, you make decisions in the game through uh, dialogue, and the dialogue that you choose will determine the events uh, the, 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 the events, excuse me, that play out uh, during the course of the game. So it's a really fun game, uh, worth playing. I'm glad I have it. Uh, the next game here, next series of games, uh, is a series that I absolutely adore. Um, first game is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, this game, def it. it it was the first game to have a really open, huge map. Um, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a great game on original, on original Xbox, PS2. Um, this one here uh, has better graphics. Uh, the graphics are are updated or upscaled, everyone is, however you want to put it. Um, great game, worth playing. If you like Grand Theft Auto, you like open world games, uh, you like... Do whatever the heck you want. Great game. Um, next game here is Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. 
It's actually the complete collection. Uh, it comes with uh, the original, or excuse me, it comes with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, which is a great game. It takes place in New York. Um, well, Liberty City is based on New York. Um, kind of similar to San Andreas. I'm really, they're all pretty similar, uh, but different storylines, different maps. It's similar in the, in the sense that they're all open world. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, it also includes The Battle of Gay Tony and Lost in the Damned um, in this as well. Um, they were released as expansions, and they're released as a uh, standalone, and then the complete collection here. Uh, um, Grand Theft Auto 4, it tried to be more, more realistic. Um, not as over the top as, say, 3 and uh, Libris um, uh, Vice City were. Um, they tried to go for more realistic gameplay, uh, physics, things of that nature. It's, it's a lot of fun. Next game here, I don't know who hasn't said what there is to say. I mean, this game's been covered numerous times. It's broken records. It's one of the best games um, to come out of Rockstar, and that is Grand Theft Auto V. Um, now, this is one of only two games I've ever purchased multiple times. And, and that's saying a lot. If you, if you can buy a game more than once, that game has impacted you. That game is a game that you know you enjoy. Why would you purchase more than once if you didn't enjoy it? Um, this game is, again, big. It's a big open world. You got three characters to go in between uh, pretty much any time you want. Um, awesome game. Lots to do. It's, it's a great game. I have it on PS4 as well as on 360. Um, good, good game. Um, and that'll be covered in the PS4 video as well when I get to that. Um, there are some changes in that version, and I'll go over that when I get to that video. The next series of games here is a series that... It's what really got me into the first-person uh, shooter genre of games, and that is the Halo series. Um, some of the best first-person shooters that I've played in a long time... Uh, first game here is Halo Reach. Um, it actually came out relatively... Well, it was one of the last um, Halo games to come out. But I, I'm showing it first because it's actually a prequel to the rest of the series. Um, they have one mission in here that's a space mission. It's like a, a dogfight space mission where you're flying a spaceship, shooting things in space. Really a lot of fun. I wish I had more of it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, really fun game, uh, worth, worth playing. Uh, next game here is uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Now, this game is the original game. Um, they revamped the uh, original uh, Halo on the Xbox when they brought it over to the, to the 360 here. Um, it's redone in, the, I think, the Halo 3 engine, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so the graphics look amazing. You can actually flip on the fly between the original graphics of the original Xbox and the 360 engine. So it's really kind of cool to see the, the, the changes that have been made um, graphically uh, as you're playing the game. It's really awesome. Um, so worth, worth playing. Great game. Next game I have here is Halo 3. Um... This is actually the first game I played on the on the uh, Xbox 360. Um, great game in the series. Um, not much really to, to say otherwise. I mean, they're all great games. Um, next game here is Halo 3 ODST. Uh, now, the difference between these two games here uh, is in this one, you play as Master Chief like you do in all the other ones. In this one here, though, you actually play as an ODST uh uh, soldier uh, going through uh, the various levels and things, and they take play the the games take place simultaneously, which is kind of cool. 
Um, so yeah, so different take here. Uh, really fun game. What's cool about this is it actually also includes the uh, the uh, second disc that includes all of the uh, DLC for number three. So all the map packs you get in this one. So that alone is worth the pickup. Um, I haven't finished this one yet. I've actually finished all of the Halo games with the exception of this one. I do plan on finishing it eventually. Uh, but a uh, but great game. Next game here is Halo 4. Um, great way to finish out the series uh, on, the, on the 360. Uh, you get a glimpse into the... Uh, uh, into the... Um, the Forerunner tech, uh, the guys that that created the Halo, um, so it's it's a it's a really fun really fun game worth playing if you like Halo. The next game here, um, oh, some people like it, some people hate it, uh, some people are in between, uh, and that game is Halo Wars. Uh, now the reason for that is because this game is a real time strategy game not a first-person shooter. Um, so this is in the same vein of, like, uh, StarCraft, WarCraft, um, things like that, Co uh, Command & Conquer. Um, you wouldn't think that this would be uh, a, a game that would work on a console, but it does. It works surprisingly well. Um, not, not as horrible as the Command & Conquer games on the PS1 and, and, and 64, and not nearly as bad as... Starcraft 64. Uh, no, this this was done a lot better. Um, great game if you like uh, Halo, even if you like uh, real time strategy games, worth picking up. The next game here is a game I got with my Xbox, uh, and that is Connect Adventures. Uh, not much to say about this. Uh, it's it requires the Connect, so you have to use yourself as a controller. It's pretty much a series of mini games that are showcasing the um, the Connect sensor, what it can do, um, which really isn't much. Uh, the, <laughs> the next game here is Connectables. Uh, think of it as an interactive Tamagotchi. Um, <laughs> you use the Connect controller to pet the, the cats or whatever. I think there's tigers and cheetahs and things. Um, I think one of them even added uh, pandas or something, um, but uh, but a interesting game. Um, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot better than this, um, but uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. You can you can interact with them. You can play with them. You can play games with them. Uh, so it's it's, it's kind of neat. Um, the next series of games I have here. Um, is a great series of games. Um, most would think of these games as kid games. Uh, it's great for your son, daughter, cousin, nephew, niece, what have you. Uh, but these are great games to play in their own right. They're a lot of fun. They're great for adults. Uh, and so starting us off here is Lego Batman. Um, if you like Batman, if you like Legos, if you like um, uh, action-adventure games... Uh, collecting things. Uh, this is a great game. Um, a lot of fun. Put a lot of hours into this. My wife and I love playing it. It's it's a great game. Uh, it's multiplayer. It's uh, uh, catch co-op, uh, not split screen. And I'll get to that. In a, and I'll, I'll get to why I mentioned that in in a bit here. Um, but yeah, so it's it's just a lot of fun. Next game here is uh, Lego Batman Two DC Superheroes. Uh, so this expands on. Um, on the Lego Batman game by adding uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, um, uh, Catwoman, and a bunch of other uh, DC uh, characters. So it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, worth uh, worth playing. Next game here is Batman Three Beyond Gotham. Um, now this again is Lego Batman. Um, it does go, I think it does Gotham and, if I'm not mistaken, Metropolis. Um, it also is uh, an open world game. So, kind of like, um, 
kind of like Grand Theft Auto, but without the violence. Um, and it's Legos, so it's it's a lot of fun. And they've been out, done this with other uh, Lego games as well. And uh, you'll see that here. Next game here is Lego Indiana Jones: The Original Adventures. This goes through, I think, the first uh, couple movies. Uh, it's Indiana Jones Lego. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, next game here is Lego Indiana Jones Two. This goes through the rest of the film series. Um, great game. They're, I mean, all the Lego games are great, but uh, but this one's a bit better than than this one. Um, but I mean, all the league games are worth uh, picking up. Any, heck, any of these games are well worth the pickup. Um, the next game here is Lego Jurassic World. Um, this game, if you like Jurassic Park, if you like Legos, you're going to like this game. This game's a lot of fun. Um, it goes through all of the films. Um, goes through all four films. Uh, so if you've seen all the films um, and you want a chance to play through them and you want to play through them as Lego characters, they're worth picking up. Next game I have here is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Um, so this is... Um, so they did the the DC with Lego Batman 3 and they did Marvel here. Um, really fun game. Awesome game to play. Um, worth, worth picking up if you like... Like Marvel, Marvel games, Marvel characters, and you like Legos. Next game here is Lego Pirates. Or sorry, Lego uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, if you like Pirates of the Caribbean, you like Lego games. Again, you'll like you like these games. Um, it goes through, I think, the first three or four movies, if I'm not mistaken. Um, worth worth playing. A lot of fun. Great humor. Um, I think this is... No, I'm sorry. It was... This one that first started with the vo with the uh, actual voice acting. Um, before that game, before the LEGO Batman 2, they didn't have voice acting. It was all just... Uh, the cutscenes were just the characters moving around and making noises, really. Not actual voice acting. Um... This one, I believe, also had voice, voice acting as well. Um, really good game. Really fun. Next game here is Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. This goes through um, all six films. Uh, so you play through all six films with the various Lego characters. Uh, great, great game to play if you like Star Wars, like Legos. I'm saying that a lot, I know. But, uh, but I, mean, I can't emphasize that enough. These games are amazing. They're a lot of fun to play. Um, Lego Star Wars 3, uh, The Clone Wars. So this goes through um, the Clone Wars film. I think it also might go through uh, episode 1, but I don't quite remember. Um, I actually haven't finished this one. Um, I also actually haven't finished uh, Lego Batman or Lego Pirates either. Um, but really fun. Really fun game. I'm glad I picked that up. The next game here is... And that's that's all the uh, Lego games that we have. Um, I think that's that's not all of them on 360. We do eventually plan on getting them all, but that's the majority of them. Uh, next game I have here is Portal 2. Um, what's not to say about Portal 2? Um, Portal 2 is, is an amazing game. There's a lot of humor in it. I haven't played much of it, but um, from what I've played of it, it's amazing. Uh, it's It's... It's a lot of fun. It's funny, um, and it's uh, it's somewhat challenging. Uh, but uh, but yeah, good good game. Glad I picked that up. Uh, this next game here is another game picked up today for a dollar, uh, and that is Rise of Nightmares. Now this game it does require the Connect, as you can see, it requires Connect sensor. Um, it is a first person horror game. Uh, now, the reviews online that I've read and that I've watched um, don't give this game very good reviews at all. Um, they claim the controls are crap uh, and the story is very generic and they'd be correct. <laughs> um, the story is very generic. It's not, not the right home about. Uh, the hardest aspect of this game is walking. 
because uh, again it uses the connect sensor and walking just doesn't feel natural i mean it has a it has an auto walk feature that's how bad it is they they know that it's bad um but sega did a really good job with this one um i like the fact that in order to um attack the enemies you actually have to swing the weapons um there's at one point a uh, a banshee or a series of banshees that come into the room and they start screaming and you actually have to physically cover your ears uh, in order to survive. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's very interactive. It's a good game uh, for what it is. Uh, and that's a survival horror game, or also, excuse me, a horror game, not survival horror, but a horror game um, on the command. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. The next series of games I'm going to talk about is similar to Grand Theft Auto, but does not take the genre seriously at all. Um, in fact, goes way over the top in uh, presentation, and its humor, um, and its overall um, everything, really. Um, and that is, uh, first game here is Saints Row and Saints Row 2 Double Pack. Um, the Saints Row series is very similar to Grand Theft Auto, and it's open world. Uh, you go through missions, uh, you get weapons, things of that nature. Um, the first game in the series is... It, it feels very generic. Um, the, the second game in the series, I think, did a lot better. Um, you can create your own character. You can be male, female... Uh, you can be a male with female features and a female voice. You can be a male with a female voice. You can be a, a female with a male voice. You can be an in-between. Um, it, it's, it's a really awesome game in that aspect. Um, and uh, you play the role of the head of a gang. Uh, you actually get initiated, and then you actually end up taking over the gang and... Um, there are gang wars, so you actually have to uh, defend your turf from other gangs, uh, as well as taking other territories from the gangs. It's a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of fun to play. A uh, great series. The next game here is Saints Row the Third. This is the third game in the series. Um, all these games are really fun. Uh, this is it's just as over the, over the top as the first and second one, even more so with the third one. Uh, a lot of fun worth picking up. Uh, next game I have here is Saints Row 4. Uh, in this one, it's, you actually uh, become the President of the United States. And there's an alien invasion, and <laughs> you get thrown into like this alien matrix uh, simulation. Uh, now, the thing to note about this game is it actually includes uh, superpowers. So you can like fly and run up buildings and jump really, really high, really far. So that's kind of cool. It was actually introduced in this one, but only in the DLC that was available uh, for the third game. So it's kind of neat. Um, next game I have here is the Elder Scroll, uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Um, if you've never played an Elder Scrolls game, they are first person. Uh, RPG high fantasy games, um, or uh, sorry, high fantasy role playing games. Um, this game here is a beautiful game. It's huge. It's very very well done. You can spend hours upon hours in this game and get absolutely nothing done. <laughs> it is just pretty to look at. It's an awesome game. So if you like uh, first person. Uh, role-playing games like f back in the old PC days. This is worth picking up, even on PC. I have it on 360 because that's what I prefer to play it on, but it did come out on 360, PS3, and PC, and it also came out on um, PS4 and Xbox One and PC as well as the remastered. Um, and it's also coming out for Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, so really good game there. Uh, almost done, got three games left, and this is kind of a long video, um, and, and I apologize for that, but uh, I did want to get through uh, all, all the games I have here. Um, next game I have here is uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Uh, if you've never played a Tomb Raider game, um, this is a good game to, to jump in on. 
Um, it's very much like Uncharted, but it's it's Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider started out on the PS1, uh, and then went to PS2, and then eventually went to PS3 and 360 and PC. Um, I mean, the original games did come out on PC, but you know what I mean. Uh, great game, worth playing. If you've ever, if you like uh, the run and gun puzzle solving, um, action epic games, this is this is a good game to play. Uh, next game here is Tomb Raider Legend. Um, again, great game, uh, worth worth checking out if you like Tomb Raider and you like Uncharted games like that. Um, worth getting. Uh, the last game I have here to round out the the collection, if you will, of 360 games, is Tomb Raider Underworld. Um, again, great game. All of, all of these games, all three of these games, are awesome, awesome, actiony, puzzle-solving games that are great to play. So that was my Xbox 360 collection. Uh, I am sorry, this is videos coming up on half an hour. Uh, not one I intended to uh, to have it be. So for those that are long, long videos, I apologize. Um, but uh, rather than doing a pickups video, I just decided to do this because it showcases uh, some of my pickups today. I do have a couple of other pickups that I did today, uh, but rather than uh, showcase those, that'll be in the PS3 um, uh, overview of my collection. Uh, which should be out uh, not this week, not next week, but the um, I'm sorry, not this week, but the week after. So next week, when I do the Treg, because yes, it's still coming. <laughs> I'm still doing the Treg video. Um, when I do the Treg video, when I upload that, um, the the PS3 video uh, will be up as well. Uh, going over my PS3 collection. So, um, in closing, I, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, uh, you like the video, and uh, share the video. And uh, happy gaming.